Today we're at the MOA Rifles and Extreme Hour Limits facility in Central Oregon. As you guys can see, we're in my loading room. Today we're gonna to do a product review spot for one of our newest partners, Grip and Pull Bullet Puller. We're gonna show you right now why this bullet puller is superior to all the rest on the market. Now, as some of you guys know, there's two other ways to go about this. There's an inertia puller, which you put the bullet in, you tap it, it pounds the bullet out and the powder. It's kind of a messy transition. You gotta clean it up and get going to the next so it can be real messy and slow. Other way is to screw in a, a collet puller, which compresses the bullet from a few different sides, therefore making it so you can pull the bullet out. Uh, one of the, the bad deals about that is it compresses on the bullet, so it's debatable how usable the bullet is after the fact. We're gonna show you how grip and pull is absolutely the most efficient, cleanest, and le the least intrusive on the actual bullet itself. So real simple single stage press, a number three base plate for our six and a half 284. The reason we're pulling this ammo is admittedly we had a, a little misalignment between our press and our die, so we were bumping the neck as we were seating these bullets, making a, a slight little bulge there, which is a no-go QC for us. So let me show you how we pull this and make it simple and clean. We just find the 26 caliber hole, run the bullet up through, stop at the case mouth, just a light squeeze on the handle, pull a bullet just that quick and easy. As you guys can see, there's absolutely no intrusion on the bullets themselves therefore making this bullet as reusable as the very moment you pulled it out of the box new. To find out more information on how to get your own grip and pull bullet puller, go to grip-n-pull.com.